Hi, Virgo. Ants to you, gods to who? <laughs> Virgo's a god. Okay, learn that from Astro Queen. Shout out to her. Um, I'm playing Andre Three Stacks frequency album that he just dropped. I'm loving this Virgo. All right. But ants to you. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just heard that. All right. So there could be people coming against you or you could be so high, high vibrating that you could be looking at things from a bird's eye view here. I was about to call you Scorpio. So you could be connected to a Scorpio, but you could be looking down to people. And I'm not saying that in a literal sense stance of you feeling that you're better than you could feel like that because God's to who like you're feeling like you're a God so there could be people here who are wanting to come against you but they could be ants to you minuscule they could be small things to a giant <laughs> you could I just heard David and Goliath yo somebody's name could be David but you could be a giant here, huh? You could be a giant and you could be looking down at somebody who's very small to you. God to who? So you could feel like you're a God, but to who? The fool? You could be foolish, a quiz. So maybe the way you think about something or you could be taking a risk. You could be starting at ground zero. Jumping off this ledge here. Yeah, going on some sort of new journey. Hermit card in the reverse. There you are. So you may not be healing here. So yeah, you could have that God, that God complex here. Virgo, the devil, Capricorn. That mentality. Okay. So you could be connected to an Aquarius. Another Virgo. Capricorn, Sagittarius, another Virgo. This could be you. Has this God complex, not healing, not going within, being very foolish. Could be traveling to an Aquarius or a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. Death. I said Scorpio. I heard Scorpio. Somebody could be poisoning your mind. Ten of Pentacles, so yeah, this has a lot to do with money or work or some sort of community, some sort of group, hierarchy. The world card, Capricorn again. Something's coming to an end. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Thank you so much for joining me, Virgo. <laughs> um, I pray that you're well. I pray that you've been doing well, all right? And just remember this message will resonate with you. Just take parts of the message that sound like your story. Remember, energy is fluid. I keep seeing the lover's card. That's your card and Virgo. That's Mercury. I'm getting Mercury energy, mercurial energy, okay? But um, something didn't come together because I keep seeing the two of swords, okay? But in this deck, it's like two hooks, I'm trying to hook somebody but not coming together. Full card again. So either somebody's very foolish or somebody's taking some sort of new risk here. The infant stage. Somebody's going on some sort of new journey. All right. This is not even the right deck. <laughs> All right, Virgo. So remember, energy is fluid. All right. So I could be talking to you. I could be talking about you. I could be talking about somebody in your energy field. All right. So just. Take what parts of the message sound like words, leave the rest, okay? Or flip the rolls if you need to. My apologies for the light shaking, all right? Let's get it. Spirit, may we please have the oracle message for the sign of Virgo? What is the oracle message for Virgo, please? <laughs> ants to who, gods, ants to you, gods to who. Cosmic power came out in the reverse here. So you're not stepping into your power, Virgo. You're not following your intuition, okay? You're not utilizing whatever this power you have in your hands. Looks as though you're not, you're not using it here, okay? This cosmic power here comes from divine here, the divine. 
So for whatever reasons, I see this amethyst, you're not following your intuition or you're not connected here to the divine, but you have a God, okay, that God complex here. So you look down to people, Virgo, okay? People are, people, places are things. It's feeling like people, look at this, says ants to you. You're feeling like everybody is beneath you, Virgo. So somebody's doing this to you, but this is your, we ain't even got to, this is your oracle card. What's the situation about spirit? What is the situation for Virgo? Remember, this is Madame my eye. So this platform, the more I read about my eye, and I'm saying I read about the God, the entity, my eye, that is explained in the um in the Egyptian Book of the Dead or Coming Forth by Day. I forgot the, the original title, the, the papyrus, papyrus. I hope I'm saying that right. I learned my eye is justice, just, right, truth, harmony. My eye held the scepter of truth and righteousness and the aunt. So like I mentioned before, this platform is not going to tell you what you want to hear. I mean, it is going to tell you what you want to hear, but it might be something that you don't want to hear about yourself. It might be something that makes you angry or frightens you. It's given me even the energy, the more that I'm watching these readings and I think about the placements in my chart, it's giving me those areas that need to be worked on to be more truthful, honest. Wow, you could be connected to a Capricorn. They got that in the upright. So escapade, not escaping here, not going on this vacation or hiding or going on some sort of adventure here. So you're no longer escaping here. All right. Cosmic power, step into your power. Dreams once buried beneath, beneath the dungeon floor, slowly sprout into Undying Gardens. Interesting. All right, Virgo. So, escapade. Now, Capricorn, when they had this, this was about a mistress. Hiding away with a mistress. Going on a vacation with a mistress. All right. Escaping something. But this isn't the reverse. So it looks as though you're afraid to step into your power here. It's interesting. This is contradicting because you see step into your power and then you see es escapade in the reverse. So not hiding away, but not stepping into your power. Could be connected to a cancer because it's very contradicting. But let's see. <clears throat> What is escapade in the reverse for Virgo? Oh, you have cancer, how do you aspect it? What is escapade in the reverse for Virgo spirit? Strength card in the reverse, feeling weak. Could be connected to a Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn. So feeling weak here, not strong. Best bets. That was the god had the the cat head. Clarify escapade in the reverse. What is escapade in the reverse? Princess of Cups. Five of Swords came out upright. 
So somebody here who's younger, somebody here could be communicating, somebody here could be feeling choked up in their communication. Somebody's trying to win. Somebody's manipulative here. It could be just Leo or Scorpio. Definitely getting Leo energy, Scorpio energy, or an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Somebody could be very manipulative. This could be somebody you were going to go on a vacation with or go on some sort of adventure with here. It could be somebody younger than you. But I see somebody here who could be small-minded or... Somebody here could... Communicate about love or manipulation or feel weak in their communication or they're not a they're a weak communicator here. Clarify cosmic power in the reverse. Somebody's very manipulative. Saw the tower card. I, uh, I picked it up in the reverse here. So something here is repeating. The tower card in the reverse. Something is continuously going on here. Definitely could be a Libra here, an Aries, Scorpio, Leo. Could be somebody younger than you or just immature in love or weak-minded in love or... It's funny too because somebody's not escaping. They're not going, they're not, they're not hiding. Okay, but somebody here is losing their confidence or their strength. Clarify cosmic power. Something here is repeating here. So something, the tower card, something could be happening in the near future. Clarify cosmic power, the magician. Wow. So somebody's manifesting this. Somebody's doing this. Somebody is, yeah, repeating something mentally in their mind. Somebody is some sort of alchemist. So somebody here could be manifesting manipulation or somebody repeating some sort of cycle or something happening here in the near future. Somebody here is, it's like they're manipulating energy here. This Aries, it's definitely an Aries here. A Libra or a Scorpio. But somebody here is not stepping into their power. It's interesting. So somebody here... It's like they're not, they don't have power in their hands, but somebody is manipulating the energy. So somebody here could be doing voodoo, utilizing crystals or stones. Somebody's repeatedly doing this. Somebody could be a dark witch. Clarify the strength card in the reverse. So somebody, somebody is repeatedly manifesting somebody feeling weak. Not going on this new adventure. Not taking this new this new vacation or or somebody's. Somebody here is manipulating the energy here for somebody to be weak here and not escape something. What's the strength card in the reverse? Could be somebody you dreamt about, you were dreaming about. Yeah, somebody's doing this. Seven of, seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands in the reverse. So there's a Leo here or a Scorpio. I see Scorpio energy heavy. Or a Sagittarius who's very weak. Or somebody's working on their, their strength. Somebody here hasn't experienced something in their work. Or somebody wants somebody to continuously go through this hardship. 
it's like somebody's sowing some sort of seed and they're watching they're watching they want to see it grow this leo the sagittarius or this scorpio even a libra because i see somebody here went through a lot but somebody wants them to continue to feel weak and go through whatever these hardships are mentally somebody's very manipulative what's the princess of cups yeah somebody wants somebody to be choked up in their communication because that's the page of cups sending some sort of message that's our princess of cups temperance sagittarius here could be a younger Sagittarius or young-minded Sagittarius. Just give me young-minded. A Libra, a Leo, a Scorpio, 70 Libra. You got 77 here. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here is weak-minded or young-minded. Very manipulative here. But I see whoever this younger, there's a younger water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody here is like some sort of earth angel. Somebody's very enlightened. Somebody could be a water grand trine here. Somebody here could have Libra rising, Sagittarius rising. Virgo, because I see you're the seven of pentacles here. So you're being patient in your work here. You could be feeling, you could be feeling like you're losing your strength here. It's almost like you're tired because you've been going through a lot here. It looks like you you don't even want to. Yeah, somebody's doing this. They're manipulating the energy here to make you not want to go on to feeling choked up. Yeah, because I see somebody is. They're manipulating the energy here to have a bunch of people come against you. Mm. Look what I said, eight of swords. Yeah, somebody's doing this. This Aries. The Aries of Scorpio here, a Libra. Somebody who's not powerful. Somebody's a dark witch. Look at that. You got the high priestess and the star in the reverse. I mean, the, the, the high priestess in the reverse and then the star card. So somebody is not intuitive. It's like somebody's dreaming for somebody to not be intuitive or they're wishing this. Somebody's manipulating the energy here. Somebody wants you to be stuck. You could have turned away from this person. So I see you could be focusing on your work, Virgo. I see that you're sowing some sort of seeds here. And I see you're turning away from these experiences of working with this. It looks as though you are no longer taking action, no longer oh, going on whatever this escapade or escaping this energy, whatever. So you could have been just escaping. You could have been hiding away. But I see you're no longer doing that here. You're no longer feeling weak here. I see there's an angel around you. This could be a maternal figure who's around you, bringing you balance. Or there's a younger water sign or somebody who's just or tempered or balanced here. Yeah, somebody, somebody here. There's either a Sagittarius, a younger Sagittarius a Leo, somebody younger, okay? They either, either they're younger or they're young-minded, okay? Somebody here either wanted to have you choked up about communicating something here, being balanced or tempered. Somebody wanted you to be stuck. Somebody here, they wanted you to be, yeah, <laughs> they wanted you to be escaping. They wanted you to be hiding away here. So this could have been somebody here that you you chose not to go on some sort of vacation with or some sort of adventure with, okay? There's somebody here who was manipulating the energy. They wanted you to repeat something over and over and over again. What looks like feel stuck or trapped here. Somebody was trying to win. Somebody here, it looks as though they were manifesting a bunch of people coming against you. Yeah, 
a bunch of people here having you choked up about speaking about something. Yeah, somebody was manifesting wanting you to be weak, but I see you're not even you're not even paying attention to it because you're focusing on your work here and you're being patient, Virgo. Your only energy is the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody here, somebody's a dark magician, a dark witch. Because somebody here was what looks like sowing the seed of you being weak. Could be connected to a Pisces. They got that message too. Somebody here was sowing some sort of seed saying you were not experienced. You were not strong. Yeah, that you were manipulative. That you were confused. But I see, yeah, I see there's an angel around you. This maternal angel. This could be a mother, an aunt, a grandmother. Somebody here. They are protecting you here to keep you balanced, to keep you tempered here. Uh-huh. There's a Sagittarius. This may this is really Sagittarius energy who is manipulative, yo. They're young-minded, they're weak-minded. Somebody did not want you to continue moving forward. Somebody was manipulating it. Somebody's not powerful. Interesting because you had that first song, which was. So somebody has a God complex. So somebody, Virgo, that could, maybe that wasn't you. Somebody you're connected to. The Sagittarius and Aries, a Libra, a Scorpio, a Leo. Definitely Sagittarius energy. Somebody has a God complex here. Yeah. And so maybe you chose not to go on a vacation with this person or some sort of new adventure. Yeah, you turned away from this person. Because somebody here was confused or they stuck or they're very manipulative here. Somebody wants to win. They always want to win here. And somebody wanted you to... Because I see somebody wanted you to not move forward. <laughs> keep keep you stuck. Keep this going on forever and ever. What's the tower in the reverse? Look at that. The six of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody was manifesting your work, being turned upside down. Who is this? Crap out of magician? Virgo, this could be you or another Virgo, an Aries, a Libra, a Scorpio. Who is a magician? Somebody's a dark witch. Somebody's been thinking about multiple ways here to manipulate the energy. Death card, Scorpio, Judgment, Hangman, we got Majors, wow, wow, yeah, somebody was trying to manifest a death, somebody to unlive, so somebody's been doing this repeatedly, judging somebody, there's a, I said Scorpio, this could be two of your exes, Virgo, you got two, there's two Scorpios here, somebody has double Scorpio in their chart, or Pisces energy, Gemini, another Virgo, a Libra, Aries. Somebody's not powerful, but cosmic power, okay? This is like divine power, universal law. Somebody was manipulating the energy here to what looks like cause of death. Somebody was judging somebody's work, saying somebody wasn't skilled. Somebody repeatedly was doing this over and over, manipulating the energy here. Yeah, Virgo. Trying to have your work upside down or I see somebody here was manifesting giving to giving money or to multiple people, two exes or I see there is an angel here calling judgment. Somebody here is blowing this horn. Do you hear me? And I see somebody's ancestors are lifting somebody up. I, I definitely see somebody here was trying to manipulate the energy to cause what looks like to me, some somebody to be un, unliving. Yeah, yo. Because the hangman in the reverse here, I see... Somebody here, they're not enlightened. Somebody here is being judged. I see there's an ending here. 
So whatever this was, because somebody's no longer, they no longer have power to do this. So somebody here could have been abusing their power. They're losing their cosmic power here. Divine is taking this power away. I see there's two angels here. Somebody here could be dealing with something fatal, like an actual unliving here because of what they've been doing repeatedly. Yeah, because I see somebody's becoming enlightened here. There was somebody trying to hold on to somebody. There's a Pisces here, a Gemini, Scorpio. This could be two of your exes, two Scorpios involved in Aries. Cancer. Libra. A Virgo. 777 here. This is an announcement. Yeah, somebody here wanted somebody stuck. They were manipulating the energy or manipulating somebody's work. Because I see somebody here. So there could be Aries here. Somebody here who could have, if somebody was doing something dark, could definitely be dealing with a death. I see the divine. I see this angel here who's calling judgment. And I see these coffins. So there's an angel around you here that's, they're coming. Somebody may not want to see this. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there, Virgo. <laughs> um, interesting. God, somebody here was thinking of ways to kill somebody. Or somebody here. Somebody here was trying to figure out a way to bring something, somebody's work to an ending here. Because somebody's not balanced. They're not just. Somebody breadcrumbs. So somebody wanted to manifest some sort of ending to somebody's work, but it's not happening. The tower in the reverse. I see somebody here is having some sort of transformation here. They're calling judgment here. Yeah. I'm going to leave that here, Virgo. I pray it resonates. Please like, share, subscribe. If you would like a personal read, that information is down below. Until next time, peace.